This short video introduces the basic concepts required to understand the probabilistic power flow and perform it in MATLAB. The power flow analysis is important for planning future expansion of power systems, as well as determining the best operation of existing systems. It determines the steady state operating characteristics of the power system for a given load and generation. The primary outputs are the magnitude and phase angle of the voltage at each pass, and the real and reactive power flows in each line. If these outputs are within the acceptable levels, it means that the power system is behaving normally. The PF can be categorized into the deterministic power flow and the probabilistic power flow. Traditionally, the deterministic power flow has been used to analyze and assess the planning and operation of power systems. It uses specific values of power generations and load demands to calculate the bus voltages and power flows. However, the modern power systems are accommodating increasing penetration of intermittent renewable generators, such as wind turbines and photovoltaic systems which can often result in an uncertain supply of power. The deterministic power flow cannot account for these uncertainties and therefore results from it gives an unrealistic assessment of the system performance. These uncertainties can be effectively modeled using a probabilistic power flow. The probabilistic power flow was first proposed in 1974 and has been further developed and applied in power system operation and planning. The probabilistic power flow requires inputs with probability distribution functions to obtain bus voltages and power flows in terms of probability distribution functions so that the system uncertainties can be included and reflected in the solution. The probabilistic power flow can be solved numerically for example, using a Monte Carlo method. Here we can try to understand the Monte Carlo method using a simple example where a fisherman wants to calculate his daily profit, which is equal to the number of fish caught multiplied by the price of one fish subtracted by the petrol expenses. So the price of one fish is 10 pounds. The petrol expenses are 20 pounds. So these two inputs have fixed values. Whereas the number of fish caught is uncertain. So the fisherman tries to model this input as a range of values. Based on these inputs, the pro output profit can be calculated as a range of values and from this the fisherman can calculate the maximum profit minimum profit and the average profit now that we have learned the basic concept behind Monte Carlo we can try to implement it for the probabilistic power flow the probabilistic power flow involves simulating a wide range of operating scenarios which are based on pseudo-random sampling from suitable probabilistic distribution functions. For example, Gaussian distribution for electric loads and Weibull distribution for wind power. For each computational scenario, the model can be simulated to find the output. Once sufficient simulations have been completed, the output probability distribution function can be generated. Monte Carlo method is often considered to be the benchmark in probabilistic assessments and provides good accuracy, which is increases with the number of simulations. However, it also requires a large number of simulations, which can become time consuming. A probability distribution is a statistical function that describes all the possible values and likelihoods that a random variable can take within a range. It comes in many shapes with different characteristics as defined by its parameters. 
For example, a Gaussian distribution with mean zero and standard deviation one is shown here. The power demand in a electrical power system can fluctuate significantly depending on the time of day and year. It is modeled using Gaussian distribution with mean is equal to one per unit and standard deviation is equal to 0 0.1 per unit in this case. The power generated by a wind turbine is primarily dependent on the wind speed. Wind speed can be highly uncertain as it depends on the local weather patterns which cannot be predicted accurately. For this reason, the power output of a wind turbine is highly uncertain. To model the wind power, the wind speed dataset is first modeled using variable distribution with suitable scale and shape parameters. Once the wind speed dataset is obtained, the wind power dataset can be determined using the speed to power conversion function shown here. This function can be understood with the help of this diagram. The lowest speed at which the wind turbine starts producing is the cut-in wind speed. If the wind speed increases, the wind turbine produces more power until it reaches its rated capacity. This point refers to the rated wind speed. When the wind speed further increases, the wind turbine keeps on producing at its rated capacity until the cutout speed is reached. At this point, it is no longer safe to operate the wind turbine and it is necessary to stop it. And after the cutout speed, the wind turbine cannot produce further power. In summary, the probabilistic modeling of wind power includes the modeling of wind speed data set using a variable distribution, which is then converted into wind power using the speed to power conversion function shown here. The power flow problem can be solved in math power which is a package of free open source MATLAB language M files for solving steady state power system simulation and optimization problems. Briefly, it includes two main steps. Number one is to prepare the input data and define all of the relevant power system parameters. This involves setting of constants to be used as named column indices into the first branch generation and generation cost data matrices, then loading the test network, setting and retrieving net power options, and then changing the demand at bus to. Number two is viewing and accessing the results that are printed to the screen and saving in output data structures. So we can invoke the function to run powerful simulation and store the required outputs. For example, here we have stored the bus voltages and power flows, which we can then plot to observe and analyze the output of the power flow. 